turning that off. All right, so I'm in Gravity Sketch. Um, it's a tool which is free for creators. I'm on the PC version. And as you can see, I've got nothing in front of me here. Gravity Sketch is a, is a tool which really started as a sketching tool. You can draw these beautiful lines, you know, start to draw a car or whatever you want. Um, but I, f I found out it's a, it's a very powerful CAD tool, actually. It's not a full solid modeler. It's more of a, a surface modeler. Um, but you can design ships in here pretty well. So I set myself this challenge. I've had a bit of practice, to be fair, that I want to design one of my old um, ships. And I'm going to bring in some reference um, images for that. So um, here we go. So I've got this one. And I've got this one. So these are images which I did, and I'll make them a bit bigger, <clears throat> when I was uh, kind of a kid, actually. And I drew these in Coral Draw. So you can see there, uh, hopefully you see quite a nice recording. Um, this was the profile view, and then I drew uh, a kind of deck view as best as I could. And I've kind of gone back to these time and time again to model these in different technologies. So that was Coral Draw, as I said. Um, I used to be a Katia CAD person, and I designed these in Katia's um, Sketch and Shape, I think it is. It's their subdivision modeling tool. Had a bit of a competition with Lars Moden on Yacht Forums to see if I could sketch in 3D properly. Um, but I'm going to go back to the roots just now, and I'm going to use the 2D drawings. So a, a lot of designers you know, find it easier to draw in two dimensions. And then with two different planes like this, or at least two different perspectives, start to build out the idea of a 3D model of something. I'm going to show you how to use Gravity Sketch in order to, from a 2D basis, so let's say you draw this in whatever tool you want, to turn it into a 3D model. And then in other videos, I'll show you how to create from 3D from scratch. Um, I'm not the best Gravity Sketch user. I don't really have too much time to get into it, but I am learning. So please feel free to comment on this video with your tips. Um, I've been watching a guy called the Cartoonist VR, I think it is. He's been very good. He's taught me loads of stuff on his videos. So thank you very much. Um, right, so let's get started. You've got these two, these are reference images which I brought in. I grabbed them with my, my right stick. So I, I'm, I'm left-handed actually, but it's set to right-hand dominant. And you can see there that a little anchor appears, which means that they're anchored in space. Normally, if I grab with the left trigger, the model will move around me. So let's just do that. So you can see the model's moving, but these are anchored in space. Um, what I want is them to be anchored on the model. So I can delete that. Um, and let me see if I can remember this. So I'm not seeing any kind of grid system just now. So I'm going to go to my settings and say world axis on. So it's over there, actually. And this is where you need to screw around a little bit to figure out if uh, what the mirrored axis is. All right, so that's pretty good. So if I draw here, as you can see, <clears throat> it will mirror on the other side um, if I've got my mirrored setting on. So let's just do a mirror for everything, symmetrical. And it's actually showing me my, my plane of symmetry there. So you need to do these kind of things to get it set up. This is important, you'll see just now. So now I'm going to place, I need to place this onto, I want to place it onto that plane. And there's a kind of a trick here. Um, I don't know if it's a setting in here, smart move. And that's something else. World axis is on, stage floor. Oh, hang on a second here. <laughs> All right, this stage floor is important. <laughs> So the stage floor is telling you where where down is, right? So now I've got my down symmetry still working in that way. Right, so I'll just keep the stage floor on for a second. Um, and as far as I remember, you, you half grab this. How does it work? Hmm. To be honest, I cannot remember. There was a way to get this to snap on to 
this plane here, but I cannot for the love of God remember. So I'm just gonna have to do my best to place it in. Ah, when I anchored it, it kind of snapped into position there. So when I'm when you're grabbing stuff, you can move it around freehand and there's some options there. So you see my left hand, I've got anchor. So this is what you want to do. It's, it's, it's anchored now, so you see it's actually snapping to that plane nicely. And now I can turn off that stage floor. So that is right along the center line, which is exactly what we want. And we want to bring this thing in. And basically the system's smart enough to know that if you anchor this, it will, it will snap it on. So there you go. So you can, it depends how you've drawn it. Um, but they need to line up. So it doesn't quite line up. So what I'm going to do is scale it uh, slightly smaller. So it depends how you've drawn it. This top down view is, is just kind of seen, you know, from the very top down. And I know that the, the shear line here of the stern kind of hits the deck where that, where the, the wooden part, the teak decking of the, of the thing there stops. So that's kind of lined up for me. Everything else is kind of lined up. You can see the window lines up there. It's not exactly, but it's good enough. So that's our starting point. You've got your two sketches in uh, on your symmetry plane. And then I can start to sketch. So a uh, kind of best practice is to do a kind of layer. I, I call this layer ref. So sorry, there's a bit of lag here because I'm on my Quest 2 using Airlink. And then I'm going to make another layer here, which is going to be called Curves. And then I start to draw. So I'm going to use the sketching style of curve and I want to do a planar. And it's, um, how does this work again? Yeah, this trigger here, the trigger on your left hand controller determines where, which, where your plane is. And if you're grabbing this, the trick is half grab it. And then it, it, it jumps onto that right plane here, but I'm not convinced it's on the right thing. Yeah, so that's, you have to half grab it and then it snaps onto any of your, your major planes there. So I can sketch now. Um, so I'm just gonna turn it, I haven't got any underwater line here but I'm gonna sketch one uh, underwater kind of curve like this, try to make it nice and smooth. I'm gonna sketch a shear line like this. It doesn't matter if you, you don't get it exact. You can hear my chair creaking there. I'm gonna sketch another line, which is this top of the window. So this actually forms the upper deck. And then another line, which is going to form that four part of the vessel. And you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. Another little line. It's a bit laggy, actually, with my quest here. This roof line. So I'm just kind of using my whole body to move here. The other thing I could do is just make the whole thing a lot smaller. And then I would have a more smooth lines. And another kind of, the idea here was that there was a, a walkway along that deck there. And then I've got my lines. Um, so what I should have done is, yeah. So now I can turn off my, my reference and, and see my, my curves there. So I already got something pretty nice. These are the sort of main lines of my vessel. I'm going to do finally this um, chain line here. So I'm getting a real bit of lag, which is making it a bit difficult. And there you go. So I've got a two dimensional sketch of my vessel. Looks pretty cool. And then um, they're basically, uh, I will go in and do the same thing from the top. So. Um, I need to change this plane here so we can get this to snap. It doesn't matter too much if it's not exactly right. 
that's pretty good. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do, let me think about this. So actually those lines on the side, I need to drag out to be in line with that more than anything. So it's pretty good. So what I've done is I've set my plane to be in that direction. I'm gonna grab my main line here. Uh oh, so undo. Oh shit, why did that disappear? Oh, can I undo? Whoa. What the hell's going on? I lost my reference. Where the hell? All right, for some reason I grabbed this, made it huge, and let me go back, sorry about this. Uh, it's a combination of grabbing this thing, getting it the right size. A little bit of rework there, you can see. And to use the anchor again, it's popped into position. So you can see I'm just kind of eyeballing that to line it up. So what I didn't do there was go to my reference stuff, lock it. So now can't grab it. So that's another best practice. So I'm working on my curves. Um, I'm going to make this selection thing a bit smaller. I'm selecting this line and I want to pull it out so that it's got a little bit of dimension here. And there's a couple of ways to do this. So I think it's planar, which means I can only drag it on that plane. Um, let's see if unplanar, yeah, I unmade it unplanar and planar again. So it remembers the plane that it's drawn in. So the way to drag these lines out, um, is to use the smart move. So when I've got my two things together, you can see there, and it's a bit funny. There you go. So I've got my two controllers lined up. Usually need to rotate this one to get it to right. And when it's got one of the axes highlighted in red like that, I can grab that line and pull it out. Should do that in this mode until I've got something, you know, that matches up with my sketch below. So I'm just going to do, pull these all out, and then I'll refine it afterwards. Could have done all of them, actually, if I were the big thing like that. There you go. So now I can do fine adjustments. And get that as a nice line there. And you get a feeling for getting these to be nice, fine curves. Um, and I could even bring that, these two here, and I'm gonna make my selection thing a bit smaller. And uh, bring that back in. All right, so then I've got one line, tick, that's okay. I'm gonna do the same with my, um, What's this? Takeoff planer. Uh, this is my chine line. And these are just curves for guidance, um, but it's actually quite nice just to have a curved model. I'm gonna make my selection bigger there again. Bring these all out. And it's kind of hard to see here because I've got my reference visible so we're making that chine line there underneath so that's starting to look good and i'll just go in here so this is just doesn't need to be on the center line here oops undo oh, oh. maybe i'm going to do this again so you see here i've just not got my model lined up in a way there we go and these don't need to sit on the center line. So this is the chine line. It's um, where there's the spray rail and 
I'm going to get that so it looks kind of okay. So that's, it's quite a sleek four body as far as I remember when I designed this before and it comes down. So that's how, that's how you do your lines. And you can see here, we start to have a 3D model. Um, I'm going to do this line now, grab it, press edit, and we're going to drag this out. And again, let me bring back my curves a little bit. So I've got some reference. So it was this line grabbing it. And this line, uh, if I remember, is this upper line along the deck there. So I'm just gonna grab it. Uh, again, it's planar. So how did I do this again? No, I need to bring up my, that menu for some reason. Hmm. For some reason, I'm not seeing that menu. When I select a line, Edit it, I should see that menu again. Ah, here we go. So non-planar, that was the dot, dot, dot lines. And yeah, I'm gonna bring it out. So it's, it's, it's following this kind of line inside here. So let's start at the back in this case. I'm actually closing one eye to get a better idea of how this lines up. I, and I could grab more of these points at a time to do this. So it's actually outside of the chain line, just so you're, just you're wondering there. I can do with another control point there. So I just did right trigger and I added a control point. So that's roughly what we've got here. I can add another point in here and take that back to the center even. I can just uh, add another point there to make that a bit more sharp. So, and then we've got our third line here. And then we've got an upper deck line here. Same thing, take off planar. So, 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 so. This, I'm trying to remember what the design was like, so I can, and I can't really remember. So this is related to that other line there. You'll see when I pull this into position, this is actually the top half of, um, when, I, when I do a surface, it'll become more obvious. So let's just get this all smoothed. Could take some points out here actually. I'm gonna keep it like that. So, yeah. Right, what have we got now? So now we've got, that's the main deck line there, our chine, our profile, keel profile along the bottom, sorry for the lag. Uh, we've got this kind of upper deck, which, um, becomes a kind of, um, so the upper deck goes along there and the lower deck actually goes along here. You can't see it's, it's, it, it gets hidden behind this bulwark at the front. Um, and then on the top, one more line that we need to pull out. So let's view our reference again, these two lines here. So I need to zoom in here. Not really helping myself, planar off. And this is this blue, ceiling that you can see there. Uh, so I don't have many lines here. My line's a bit thick just now, and I can change that. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna make it a bit thinner. Uh, and this is this blue roof line, which comes out something like that. Again, I need additional control points in here. So 
we start to have something that's representing that blue shape there. So this can come forward a little bit. I'll so just freestyle it. So that is the lower visor. And then there's one. I'm going to keep that the center line uh, ones there. So I'm just going to adjust the size of these. Oh, they're all pretty small. I'm going to do scaling. Nope. And do it's kind of disconcerting when you first use gravity sketch because you you have to grab the things in order to edit them and they immediately move when you grab them but as long as you press that edit button on your other hand the snaps back to where they were so i'm just editing all these lines which are not on the center line and let's have a look at this without mark curves without my ref so i think that's okay that's stage one so i've got a little problem here to define um this kind of bit of walk around and this this was to be honest a, a bit of a weird part of the design so i'm going to draw one more line which is just the window and then we'll kind of have the the, the bulk of our design and then in part two i'll go into doing surfaces but i've seen a issue here um we start to get used to knowing which in which axis does something need to be adjusted so it kind of looks a bit All right sorry about the lag again i might just do this on my oculus quest next time without using pc um right so one more line i said let's get the ref back on and I'm going to draw this line, um, make another layer, just so I can get rid of some of this stuff. We're working on layer one. It's going to draw another line, and it's going to be planar. Not in this direction, though. I want the planar to be that direction. So I'm going to do half. So I'm going to draw this window line here. Um, this window is not complete. The way I had it in mind was this roof part actually overlaps. It overhangs the window slightly. But I'll, I've got the center line in. I've got this roof part in. And I just need this window line here. Let's see what we've got there to go in. And I'm immediately going to just go and edit it because I know it needs to come out in the other direction. So the window line was this one here following the the black um, there. So of course, I'm always viewing this in, in fully in 3D. So there's no ortho or perspective. And my battery is running out. So it's going to be time for me to end this video. You might be thinking, great. And there we go. I'm going to make it thin, as thin as possible. And I'm going to st stick with that and end the video by grabbing this one, moving it into the curves layer. So layer three, we don't really need. And there you can see I've got my, my window starting to appear in this area here. The That's that's like how to get a nice 3D sketch. Um, it's actually pretty useful to have just this line sketch. It gives you, should give anybody looking at this a pretty good appreciation of what the, the general form is. I can't help myself. I'm gonna go in here and unlock that layer, edit this little tiny curve here, add a control point, make it thinner. I actually had enough control points here. I just kind of had a nice curve in this glass in mind when I did that. Um, so there we go. That's us getting there. And if I will fix this stuff here. So these, this window actually was intended to be inside of that line there. 
I'm just going to make it as small as I can. Um, and it looks like it's coming out a bit too much. There we go. That's a nicer curve. Make that nice and tangential there. Right. That is the beginnings. This was, I think, a 110-foot cruiser, something like that I had in mind. Big, powerful motor yacht. I think it was about the time when Wally Yachts came out with their... Um, you know, the 110 cruiser. Um, let me just get rid of that planar thing so you can see a bit better. Um, and the world axis so you can see even better. And I don't know why I've got this plane. That must be my mirror, yeah. So there you go. There's my yacht. Um, and I'll put it in this nice studio environment and I'll scale it up. So yeah, this was going to be a big hundred and something foot cruiser. Um, I did have this teleport tool, but I can't remember. Oh, wow. This is new. Sorry, I just found a PC, a PC mode trick. That is awesome. What the hell does this do? What can I do with this? <gasps> oh. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that. Top down view. Oh my God. Love this program. And this view is going to help me get things right as well. Oh my God. Gravity sketch. You are awesome. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Yeah. So that's my super yacht design gravity sketch session part one um if you <laughs> i know that these lines are not gonna i can snap them into the middle there's a bunch to do there but just because my battery's running out i'm gonna leave it at that um so thanks for watching and i look forward to your comments and i'll see you later